time in a far off kingdom I wish lived a young maiden more than anything a sad more than life more than two wish and a childless baker more than my I wish, wish life. more than anything more than the moon I wish, I wish to go to the festival more than my life wish. the king is giving a festival more than riches I wish the cow would give us a man more than anything I wish we had a child Cinderella, can't you hide it with a hat? You 
look beautiful. I know. She means me. Put it in a twist. Who will be there? Mother said be good. Father, good. Father said be nice. That was always their advice. So be good. Cinderella nice. Cinderella nice. Good, good, nice. Tire! What's the good of being good if everyone is blind? And you're always looking behind. Never mind. Cinderella kind. Cinderella nice. Good, nice. Kind, good, nice.
how he might lift the spell. You wish to have the curse reversed? I'll need a certain potion first. Go to the wood and bring me back one, the cow as white as milk. Two, the cape as red as blood. Three, the hair as yellow as corn. Four, the slipper as pure as gold. Bring me these before the time of midnight in three days' time, and you shall have, I guarantee you, child, as perfect as a child can be. Oh. Go to the wood! <coughs>
silence everywhere, Milky White. Not to my liking. Hello, Jack. How did you know my name? When first I appear, I seem mysterious. But when explained, I'm nothing serious. <laughs> Say that again? <laughs> On your way to market? Could have been there long ago. Taking your time, Jack? Uh, no, sir. Is that the truth? Well, see, now I'm resting. Mm, how much are you asking for the animal? No less than five pounds. Oh, now, Jack, why such a sum? Well, my mother told me. Your mother? A boy your age? Why, you'd be lucky to exchange her for a sack of beans. Well, I guess I... Come along, Milky White. There are spirits here. And so, after two sticky buns and half a loaf of bread, the little girl with the red cape was in for a surprise. Good day, young lady. Good day, Mr. Wolf. Were they away so hurriedly? To my grandmother's. What might be in your basket? Bread and wine, so grandmother will have something good to make her strong. And where might your grandmother live? A good quarter of the league into the woods. Her house stands under three large oak trees. <sighs> Look at that flesh. Can plump. Hello, little girl. Tender and fresh. Not one lump. Hello, little girl. This one's especially lush. Delicious. Hello, little girl. What's your rush? You're missing all the flowers. The sun would set for hours. Take your time. Mother said straight ahead, not to delay her be misled. But so, little girl, hark and hush. The birds are singing sweetly. You'll miss the birds completely. You're traveling so fleetly. Grandmother first, then Miss Plump. What a delectable couple! Utter perfection, one great, one soft, you mold, my dear. Mother said, one day, fall the path and never stray. But so, little girl, any path, so many worth exploring. Just one would be so boring, and look what you're ignoring. Think of those crisp, aging bones. Then something fresh on the palate. Think of that scrumptious carnality twice in one day. There's no possible way to describe what you feel when you're talking to your meal. Mother said not to stray, still I suppose this late leg. Granny might like a fresh bouquet. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, little girl, and hello. Oh! <laughs> Is harm to come to that little girl in the red cape? Oh, forget the little girl. Get the cape! You frighten me. Or a yellow slipper. 
Or was it a yellow cow in a golden slipper? Oh, no. Cow is white as milk, the cape is red as blood, the hair is yellow as corn. What are you doing here? Uh, you forgot your scarf. You have no business being alone in the woods, and you have no idea what I've come upon here. You would be frightened for your life. Now please go. I wish to help. No, the spell is on my house. Our house. Only I can lift the spell. The spell is on my house. The spell is on my home. How is white as milk? Hello there, young lad. Uh, hello, sir. What might you be doing with a cow in the middle of the forest? Well, I was on my way to market, but I seem to have lost my way. And what are you planning to do there? Oh, and what are you planning to do there? Uh, sell my cow, sir. No less than five pounds. Five pounds? Where am I to get five pounds? Uh, she must be generous of milk to fetch five pounds. Uh, yes, ma'am. And if you can't fetch that sum, then what are you to do? I hadn't thought of that. I suppose my mother and I will have no food to eat. This is the sum total. Beans? Oh, oh, oh beans. Oh, we mustn't give up our beans. Well, if you feel we must. Huh? Beans will bring you food, son. Beans? In exchange for my cow? Oh, oh, well, these are no ordinary beans. Son, these beans carry magic. Magic? <laughs> what kind of magic? A tell him. Um, magic that defies description. <laughs> well, my mother would probably... You'd be lucky to exchange her for a sack of beans. <laughs> How many beans? Six. A uh, five. We can't part with all of them. We must save one for ourselves. Besides, I'd say they're worth a pound each, at the very least. Could I buy my cow back someday? Well, possibly. Good luck there, young lad. I guess this is goodbye, old cow. You've been a perfect friend. out in my own fashion. And so, the baker set off in search of the cake as red as blood. As for Rapunzel, the witch was careful not to lose this beauty to the outside world, and so shut her within a doorless tower that lay deep within the forest. 
when the old enchantress paid a visit, she called forth. arrives, I will stand before her window and ask her to let down her hair to me. <laughs> Hello there, little one. Hello. Did you save some of those sweets for Granny? I ate all the sweets and half a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful red cape that is. Where'd you get it? My Granny made it for me. Is that so? I would love a red cape like this. You'd look pretty foolish. May I take a look at it? I don't want you to allow my cape. Please give it back. Uh, I, I want it badly. Give it back, please. For Jessica, a Lincoln, a cape. I just wanted to be sure you really loved that cape. <laughs> now, um, you run along to Granny's and be sure no wolf comes your way. I'd rather a wolf than you any day! <laughs> ah. If you know what you want, then you go and you find it and you get it. Do I want a child or not? It's a cloak. What's a cloak? It's a joke. It's a stupid little cloak. And a cloak is what you make it. So you take it. Things are only what you need them for. What's important is who needs them more. And so the baker, with newfound determination, set off after the cape as red as blood. snore. Where's the little one? Eating, no doubt. <laughs> or eaten. Grandmother, what's that little red cloth in the corner of your... It looks to be a piece of... I know. I will get that cape from within your stomach. <laughs> Sliced in 
into a thousand bits. Better yet, let the animal die a painful, agonizing, hideous death. Granny! Quiet, child. This evil must be destroyed. I will leave you to your task. <laughs> Don't you want the skins? No, no, you keep them. What kind of a hunter are you? I'm a baker. Mother said straight ahead, not to lay or be misled. I should have heeded her advice, but he seemed so nice. And he showed me things, many beautiful things, that I hadn't thought to explore. They were off my path, so I never had dared. I had been so careful, I never had cared. And he made me feel excited, well, excited and scared. When he said, come in, with that sickening grin, how could I know what was in store? Once his teeth were bared, though I really got scared, well, excited and scared. But he drew me close, and he swallowed me down, down a dark, slimy path, where lies secrets that I never want to know. And when everything familiar seemed to disappear forever on the air, and all the path was Granny once again, so we waited in the dark until someone set us free, and we're brought into the light, and we're back at the start. And I know things now, many valuable things that I hadn't known before. Do not put your faith in a cape and a hood. They will not protect you the way that they should. And take extra care with strangers, even flowers have their dangers. And though scary is exciting, nice is different than good. Now I know, don't be scared. Granny is right, just be prepared. Isn't it nice to know a lot? And a little bit not. <laughs> Mr. Baker, you saved our lives. Here. Are you certain? Yes. Perhaps Granny will make me another with the skins of that wolf. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
you to return to the festival tomorrow eve? Perhaps. Perhaps, ah, uh, to be pursued by a prince. All that pursues me is tomorrow's bread. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be in your shoes. Will you look over there? An enormous vine growing next to that little cottage. I mean slippers! The giant beasts are hiding into the sky! These killers go! I must get home! Oh, wait! I need your shoe! Move! Hey! Ah! Come back here! One midnight gone. No knot unties itself. in the sky. There are big, tall, terrible, awesome, scary, wonderful giants in the sky. Good fortune, good fortune, sir. Look what I have. Here's five gold pieces. Five gold pieces? I had more, but my mother made me surrender them. She allowed me these five to do with as I please. Oh my. Where is Milky White? Uh, Milky White is back home with my wife. Well, let's go find them. No, wait, I'm not sure that I wish to sell. But you said I could buy her back. I know, but I'm not sure that five Are you gold saying you wish more money? More money? Keep always... this. I will fetch more. No, wait! Come... <laughs> 
Five gold pieces. With this, I can buy baking supplies for a year. I can buy a new thatched roof and a new chimney. But could you buy yourself a child? Who are you? <laughs> when first I appear, I seem delirious. But when explained, I'm nothing serious. Could you buy yourself a child? I don't understand. How badly do you wish a child? Five gold pieces? Ten? Twenty? I've not thought to put a price upon it. Exactly. You've not thought about many things, have you, sir? Give me that back. That's not yours. Nor is it, Jack. The money's not what's important. What's important is your wish be honored. No, no wait. Come back here. Give me, damn. Give me that money. That's not you. What are you doing here now? I see you've the right cape. Yes. I have only two items left to locate. Three. Two. I have the cape and the cow. You've the cape. What have you done with the cow? Oh, she ran away. I never reached home. I've been looking for her all night. I should have known better than to have entrusted her to you. She might just as easily run from you. But she didn't. But she might But she didn't. Look here! The cow is gone. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. We were, we were just going to do that. Here, I can give you this. Don't give me that, fool! I don't want to touch it! What are you thinking? Listen to her beautiful music. Lovely. Yeah, she's very gifted. <laughs> By tomorrow's midnight, get me all the items or you'll wish you never thought to have a child. Ah. I don't like that woman. <laughs> I'm sorry I lost the cow. I shouldn't have yelled. Now go back to the village, please. I will make things right. And then we can just go about our lives. No more hunting in the woods for strange objects. No more witches uh. and dim-witted little boys and hungry little girls. Oh. Go. Brother, father, and I had wondered where you had gone. I have been looking all night for her. Her? The beautiful one that I danced the evening with. Well, where did she go? Disappeared like the fine morning mist. She was lovely. The loveliest. I am not certain of that. I must confess. I too have found a lovely maiden. She lives here in the woods. The woods? Yes on top of a tall tower that has no door or stairs. Where? Two leagues from here, due east, just beyond the mossy knoll. And um, how do you manage a visit? I stand beneath her tower and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. And then she lowers the longest, most beautiful head of hair, yellow as corn, in which I climb to her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you fly, pumpkin. <laughs> Rapunzel! Rapunzel, what sort of name is that? <laughs> you jest. I've never heard of such a thing. I speak the truth. She's as true as your maiden. A maiden running from a prince? None would run from us. Yet, one has. Did I abuse her, show the stain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony beyond power of speech. With the one thing you want, is the only thing out of your reach. High in a tower, she sits by the hour, maintaining her hair. Life and becoming, frequently humming, a light-hearted air. Ah, 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 ah. Agony, 
far more painful than yours. When you know she would go with you, if there only were doors. Agony, all the torture they teach. What's as intriguing? Oh, how so fatiguing. As to what's out of reach. Am I not sensitive, clever, well-mannered, considerate, passionate, charming, as kind as I'm handsome, and there to a throne? You are everything maidens could wish for! Then why no? Why no? A girl must be mad! You know nothing of madness, till you're climbing her hair and you see her up there <laughs> as you're hearing her all the while hearing her. Oh, ah. And she's just out of reach. And that can cost like a knife. I must have her to wife. Beanstalk again. Quit while you're ahead, I always say. Jack! Jack! Moo! Moo! Looking for your cow? Where did you find her? Hello?
where did she go? Who? Go! Where the fool woman? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. You mean the beautiful young man in the ball gown? Uh, uh, she went that way. I was trying to hold her here for you. I can save my own damsel. Thank you. <laughs> It's not true. It takes two of us. You came through. When the journey was rough, it took you. It took two of us. It takes care. It takes patience and fear and despair to change. If you swear to change, you can tell if you do. It takes two. You've changed. You're thriving. There's something about the Once you've begun, it takes two of you, it's no fun. But what needs to be done, you can do. When there's two of you, if I dare, it's because I'm becoming aware of us. As a pair of us, each accepting a share of what's there. We have changed, we're strangers. I'm meeting you in the woods. Who minds what dangers? I know we'll get past the woods. And once we're past, let's hope the change is lost. Beyond woods, beyond witches and slippers and hoods. Just the two of us, beyond lies. Safe at home with our beautiful prize. Just a few of us. It takes trust. It takes just a bit more, and we're done. We want four. We have none. We've got three. We need one. It takes two. into my hand. Oh, a golden egg? I've never seen a golden egg. You see, I promised you more than the five gold pieces I gave you, sir. A five gold pieces? Now I'm taking my cat. Five Wait. gold pieces? No, I never said I would sell. But you took the five gold pieces. You took five gold pieces? I didn't take, you gave. Well, where are the five gold pieces? An old man But you came. said I could have my cow. I never said that you could, I said that you might. You would take money before a child? No, but I was just <laughs> trying to make sure that... <laughs> Milky White is dead, too!
the far, but it still isn't there. You're better than the far, but it still isn't there. Paul, so near. So far. to the village in search of another cow. And what do you propose I use to purchase this cow? Here. Tell them it's magic. <laughs> no one with a brain larger than this is going to exchange a cow for a bean. Then steal it. Steal it? Just two days ago, you were accusing me of exercising deceit and securing a cow. Then don't steal it and resign yourself to a childless life. I feel it best. You go for the cow as I have met a maiden with a golden slipper these previous eves, and I think I might succeed in obtaining one of her shoes. Fine. Fine. Fine, that is simply- Fine! No! Unfortunately, Rapunzel, <laughs> no, which discovered her affections for the prince before he could spirit her away. What did I clearly say? Make no sense, old man. Go away. In need of another cow? <laughs> oh, what a beautiful cape. Stay away from my cape, or I'll slice you into a thousand bits. I don't want it! <laughs> I was just admiring it. My granny made it for me from the wolf that attacked us, and I got to skin the animal. 
Best of all, she gave me this beautiful knife for protection. Well, look what I have. A hen that lays golden eggs. I don't believe that egg came from that hen. Where did you get that egg? I stole this from the kingdom of the giant up there. If you think this is something, you should see the golden harp the giant has. Place the most beautiful tunes without your even having to touch it. <laughs> of course it does. Why don't you go back up to your kingdom and bring it back and show me? I could. You could not. I could. Could not, Mr. Liar. I am not a liar. <laughs> I'll get that harp. I'll show you. <laughs> by surprise. As he leapt from the tower, the thorns into which he fell pierced his eyes and blinded him. As for Cinderella, she returned from her final visit to the festival. <laughs> He's a very smart prince. He's a prince who prepares. Knowing this time I'd run from him. He's read pitch on the stairs. I was caught in the wares, and I thought, well, he cares. This is more than just malice. Better stop and take stock We are standing here stuck on the steps of the palace. You think, what do you want? You think, make a decision. Why not stay and be caught? You think, well, it's a thought. What would be his response? But then what if he knew who you were when you know that you're not what he thinks that he was? But then what if you are what a prince would envision? Although how can you know who you are till you know what you want, what you don't want, so then which do you pick when you're safe out of sight and yourself but where everything's wrong? Or where everything's right and you know that you'll never be wrong? And whichever you pick, do it quick, cause you're starting to stick to the steps of the palace. It's your first big decision. The choice isn't easy to make. To arrive in a bold's exciting and all, but you're there, though it's scary. And it's fun to see when you know you can leave, but you have to be wary. There's a lot that's at stake, but you've stalled long enough, cause you're still standing stuck in the stuff on the steps. Better run along home. And avoid the collision Even though they don't care You'll be better off there Where there's nothing to choose Where there's nothing to lose So you pry up your shoes And without any guide You know what your decision is Which is not to decide You'll just leave him a clue For example, a shoe then you'll see what he'll do. Now it's he and not you who is stuck with a shoe, in a stew, in the goo. And you've learned something too, something you never knew. How dare you go 
run off and search without me. My apologies, sir. I thought that I might. Ah, never mind what you thought. I employed a ruse and had the entire staircase smeared in pitch. And there, when she ran down, remained the maiden slipper. Brilliant! <laughs> I thought so. It didn't make quite a mess when the other guests left. And, sir, <laughs> I've succeeded in obtaining the other slipper. Give them the slipper and all will come to a happy end. Who are you? When first I appear, I seem delicious. Shut up! <laughs> Do as he says. He's obviously a spirit of some sort, and we only need one. Yes.
reunion with his father, and he and his wife, bewildered, returned home. The witch, who had been punished with age and ugliness that night when her beads had been stolen and the lightning flashed, she was now returned to her former state of youth and beauty. And Milky White, after a night of severe indigestion, was reunited with the now wealthy Jack. As for the prince, he set off to find the foot that fit the golden slipper. When he reached Cinderella's house, Cinderella's stepmother took the slipper into Florinda's room. Careful, my toe, I'm darling, I know. What'll we do? It'll have to go. But when you're his bride, you can sit. Oh, I will never need to walk. I didn't think I'd wear the 
I didn't think I'd ever find you. I didn't think I could be so happy. And it came to pass all that seemed wrong was now right. The kingdoms were filled with joy, and those who deserved to were certain to live a long and happy life. Ever after! Ever after!
my sons. You would raise your child yeah. alongside the Why does he always cry when I hold him? Well, maybe he's crying. Yeah. He's crying. You didn't hold him as if you were holding yeah. him. Here, he wants his mother. Oh, you can't take care of him all the time. I will care for him when he's older. <laughs> we have to go through thick and thin. We have to lose our heart to breathe. I would just have to stop I never thought I'd be so much I hadn't been. that was brought upon my house today. Oh, Jack was with me all day. The baker went on to tell Jack and his mother that he feared there was a giant in the land. I can recognize the giant's footsteps. I can go to your house oh, You will I... do no such thing. Any help at all would be greatly appreciated. I'm sorry, but you'll get none from us. No one cared when there was a giant in my backyard. I don't remember you coming to our aid. Well, a giant in your backyard is one thing. A crushed home is quite another. I'm sorry, young man. But if it helps, Giants never strike the same house twice. I wouldn't worry. Well, I'm taking this news to the castle nonetheless. When the baker reached the castle, it was the princess who greeted his news. The story unfolds. Excuse me, madame. This small man insists on seeing you. Princess, I'm here to report the appearance of a giant in the land. Where did you see a giant? Well, I didn't exactly see one. Then how how do you know there is a giant in the land? Well, our house was destroyed, and there are footprints. That could have been caused by a number of things. I will show you to the door. Wait. A nearby household was visited by a giant not long ago, descending from a beanstalk. Yes, I remember. That giant was slain. Now come along. Wait. We have a small child. Princess, our child was very difficult to come by. His safety is of great importance to me. Are we entirely through now? Yes. Let's go. I will take this news up with the prince when he returns. Thank you. Jack, I'm going to the market to sell the harp. Mother, no! Jack, I don't want this harp lying around when there's giants on the loose. But I know how to kill a giant. Oh, we've had our fill of giants. But, Mother, I could help. Enough. Promise me you won't leave your surroundings. But, Mother, I'm a man now. <laughs> but you're still a little boy in your mother's eyes. I want you to promise you won't leave. Promise? I promise. What happened to your house? Oh, um, oh, we've had a baking accident. A baking accident? No use frightening the young thing. You can't frighten her. 
Well, I guess Granny will have to do without the bread sweets. Besides, I have all I can carry. Why such a load? Well, I'm moving in with Granny. We had an accident too. I came home to find our house collapsed as if a big wind blew it in. I couldn't find my mother anywhere. Oh no. So I salvaged what I could and now I'm all. Oh good friends, what news have you? What of mother's grave? What kind of trouble? Oh no, I can't investigate. A princess is not supposed to go into the woods unescorted. Good idea. I'll disguise myself and go to see what's wrong. Thank you, birds. We'll take you to your grannies. What? We're not going to let her go alone. Fine, I will take you. I don't need anyone to take me. I've gone many times before. Well, not when there have been such winds blowing. That's right, we'll all take you. No, you stay here with the baby. I'm not about to stay here with the baby when a wind might return to this house, too. I know Mother made me promise, but I'm going to find that giant anyway. Into the woods it's always when you think at last you're through And then into the woods you go again to take another journey Into the woods the weather's clear, we've been before, we've nothing here Into the woods away from here Into the woods to find a giant Into the woods to grandmother's house Into the woods the path is straight, no reason then you hesitate hysterical fits of crying, moods that no soul could predict. I know not what to do. <laughs> what a pity. And Cinderella! She remains well. Does she? Yeah. Now, brother, do tell me what you're really doing here. <coughs> high in a tower, like yours was but higher, a beauty asleep. All around the tower, a thicket, a briar, a hundred feet deep. Agony, no frustration more key. When the one thing you want 
is a thing that you've not even seen. I found a casket entirely of glass. Oh, no, it's unbreakable. Oh, Inside, don't ask it, a maiden, alas. Just as in wake up, what unmistakable agony is the way always bond. She has skin white as snow. Did you learn her name? No, there's a dwarf standing guard. <laughs> agony, such as princes must we. Always in thrall, most to anything, almost or something asleep. If it were not for the thickest, a thicket's no trick, is it thick? It's the thickest, the quickest, is thicket to part with the stick. Yes, but even one prick gets my thing about blood. Well, it's sick. It's no sicker than your thing with dwarfs. Dwarfs! Dwarfs are very upsetting. Uh, not forgetting the tasks unachievable, mountains unscalable, if it's conceivable, but unavailable. Agony, misery, not to know what you miss. While they lie there for years, and you cry on their fears, what unbearable bliss. Agony, that can cut like a knife. Ah, uh, well, back to my wife. <laughs> Rapunzel, <laughs> I must be off Godspeed to you, brother. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> Are you certain this is the right direction? We went down the dell. Perhaps you forgot the way. The path is straight. What path? There is no path. Where's the stream? Where's the lily pond? Where's Granny? Oh, calm down. Maybe we should turn back. No! We'll just have to find Granny's without the path. But Mother warned me never to stray from the path. The path has strayed from you. <laughs> Wait. That looks familiar. See over there? Three oak trees. Oh, yes. I recognize that. Oh, who might that be? Well, it's the steward in the royal family. What brings you to the woods? The castle has been set upon by a giant. Oh, no. I warned you. Why didn't you do anything? I don't make policy. I just carry it out. <coughs> and I warned you not to count on the royal family to solve your problems. I think it best we go back to the village. I wouldn't be in such a rush if I were you. Guess which path the giant took to the castle. Oh, no. All that's left in my garden is this tiny sack of beans. There's not much left of your house, either. Wait a minute, I was told that a giant never strikes the same house twice. Oh, you were told wrong. Shh. The giant's a woman! That size! Where is the lad who killed my husband? I want the lad who climbed the beanstalk. I'll get him for you right away. Don't move. <laughs> it was you who destroyed our house, not a great wind. It's because of you I have no mother. And who destroyed my house? That boy asked for shelter. And then he stole our gold, our hen, and our heart. Then he killed my husband. I must avenge the wrongdoings. Yeah. Not all giants are dumb. Give me the boy. You told him he's not here. The girl is telling the truth. I know he's there, and I'm going to wait right here until he's delivered to me. The giant, who is nearsighted and has lost her glasses, remained convinced that she had found the lad. There was no consensus among them as to what to do about this. Put a spell on her. I no longer have my powers. If I did, do you really think I'd be standing here with all of you? Now, we'll have to give her someone. Who? Oh. Oh. Ah, the steward. It's in her line of duty to risk her life. Don't be 
ridiculous. I'm not giving my life up for anyone. Well, don't take it personally. I'm waiting. You must understand, these were not people familiar with making choices. Their past experiences in the wood had in no way prepared them to deal with a force this great. Excuse me. Would you like a blind girl instead? Oh! How dare you! Oh, put them out of their misery! We're not that, that miserable. miserable! What are you talking about? She doesn't want a woman! Well, do you have any better suggestions? I'm still waiting! It is interesting to examine the moral issue at question here. The finality of stories such as these dictates that... Sorry, I tell the story. I'm not part of it. That's right. Not one of us. Always on the outside. But, but that's my role. You must understand. There must always be someone on the outside. You're going to be on the inside now. You're making a big mistake. That's nonsense. You need an outside observer to pass the story along. Some of us don't like the way you've been telling it. <laughs> but, but, but if you drag me into this mess, you'll never know how your story ends. You'll be lost. Wait. Wait, the narrator is right. The only one who knows how the story ends. Do you think it will be fun when you have to tell it yourselves? Think of your baby! Oh, stop! She's right. Let her go. Put that away. <sighs> That's better. You don't want to live in a world of chaos. There must always be an outside observer. Here's a lad! I'm not the lad! This is not the lad! Why did you throw the narrator into the giant's arms? Well, you wanted her gone too. We might have thought of something else. If it was up to you, a decision would never be made. Now that she's gone, we'll never know how the story ends. We'll, we'll manage. Must I search among you for the lad? No! Jack is just a boy. He sold his beloved cow in exchange for magic beans. If anyone's responsible, it's the man who made that exchange. That's right, no Shh. He was your responsibility. Now I must punish him for his wrong. Well, we've suffered too, you know. Do you think it was a picnic disposing of your husband's remains? You are getting me angry. What about our anger? What about our loss? Who's been flouncing around our kingdom? Be quiet. I'll hide my son and you'll never find him. Don't upset the giant. You'll never, ever find him. I'm warning you. And if you don't go back up there this instant, we'll get you for all that you've done. We'll... Where is your son? Is that him? No, no, this is not the boy. Stay here. The boy is hiding in the steeple tower. That's true. Yes. If he is not, I will return and find you. <laughs> Repent, stay away. Repent, go. No, no, step on. She's in poor condition. We not. Don't let them get Jack. We won't. Whatever you do, don't let him get her. Please stand here at death's door. I'll do all I can. Promise. Promise. All right. All right, I promise. <laughs> no, come away from there. You killed her. I was thinking of the greater good. That's my job. No matter what you say, children won't listen. No matter 
just have to find him first. I'll go too. No, you stay here with the baby. No, the baby will be safer here with the girl. You would leave our child with her? The baby's asleep. He'll be fine with the girl. Well, what if the giant were to return here? The giant will not harm them, I know. Well, how do you know? I know. But what if he But what if? But what if? Will only a giant's foot stop your arguing? You will stay here with the baby, please. Do you two always argue like that? No, not really. Seems like you do. And there's nothing wrong with having an argument. Oh, I see. Melky! Melky! That's him! Jack! Melky. Jack! Stay here with the baby. But I want to come! No, you'll be safer here. Don't go too far, please. I will only go a hundred paces. If I don't find the boy, I'll come right back. One, two, three. Jack! Jack! happen in the woods. Once again, 
please, let your hesitations be hushed. Any moment, big or small, is a moment. After all, sees the moment, skies may fall. Any moment. Right or wrong don't matter in the woods. Only feelings let us meet the moment unblushed. Life is often so unpleasant. You must know that as a peasant, best to take the moment present as a present for the moment. Some service? The tree has fallen. The grave destroyed. I'm sorry. My wishes have been crushed. Don't say that. It's true. You wouldn't understand. Well, you can't stay here. There's a giant on the loose. I'm sure that the prince will see to it that the giant is rid from our land. There's been no sign of the prince. No doubt he's off somewhere seducing some young maiden. What? <laughs> well, I understand that's what princes do. Not all princes. You look just like the princess, only dirty. <laughs> oh, you are the princess. No, please get up, get up. I'm not a princess here. Well, what are you to do? I must be on my way back to the castle. You haven't heard. We came upon the royal family. The castle has been set upon by the giant. And the prince? He was not with them. You must come with me. You will be safe in our company. I 
either less or more, either plain or grand? Is it always or? Is it never? And that's what woods are for, for those moments in the woods. Oh, if life were made of moments, even now and then a bad one. But if life were only moments, then you never know you had one. First a witch, then a child, then a prince, then a moment who can live in the woods. And you get what you wish, only just for a moment, these are dangerous holds. Let the moment go, don't forget it for a moment though. Just remembering you've had an and when you're back to war. Makes the or mean more than it did before. Now I understand. And it's time to leave the vault. <sighs> 81, 82, 80. No, 81, 82, 80. She'll be back by now. She said she would only go a hundred paces. I'm sure she'll return. No, I'll need to go in search of her now. In which direction did she go? Ow! Who was that? He's not going to get me to the giant. It's not our fault, the giant. You're hurting me. Let go of him. Leave him alone. Jack, where did you get this? Where's my wife? She's dead. What? I'm sorry, sir. I came upon her. She was under a tree. He was sobbing over like she was his own mother. How awful. How could this happen? I buried her in a footprint. I should have insisted she stay here with me. Remorse will get you nowhere. My wife is dead! Wake up! People are dying all around you. Oh, did you think you're the only one to suffer a loss? When you're dead, you're dead. Now, I suggest we get this for the giant before we're all so much dead meat. Stay away from him! This is not the time to be soft-hearted! Out of my way! Leave him alone! Yes. Yes. He's the one to blame. It's because of you there's a giant in our midst, and my wife is dead! But it isn't my fault. I was given those beans. You persuaded me to trade away my cow for beans, and without those beans there'd have been no stock to get up to the giants in the first place. Wait a minute, magic beans for a cow so old that you have to tell Malaya selling what you told. Were they worthless beans? Were they oversold? Oh, and tell us who persuaded you to steal that gold. See, it's your fault. No! So it's your fault. No! Yes, it is. It's not. It's true. Wait a minute, though I only sold the gold to get my cow back from you. So it's your fault. Yes. No, it isn't. I'd have kept those beans, but her house was cursed. She made us get a cow to get the curse reversed. It's his fault. It's fault that the curse got placed in the place, got cursed in the first place. Oh, then it's his fault. So it was his fault. No. Yes, it is. It's his. I guess. Wait a minute, though I chopped the beanstalk, right? That's clear, but without any beanstalk, then what's clear is how did the second giant get down here in the first place? Second place. Yeah, how? Hmm? Well, who had the other bean? The other bean? The other bean? Oh, did the other bean? I didn't. Yes, I did. So it's your No, it isn't, because I gave it to my wife. So it's her fault. No, it isn't. Then whose is it? Wait a minute. She exchanged that bean to obtain your shoe, so the one who knows what happened to the bean is you. You mean that old bean that your wife owned dear, but I never knew it's worth her old don't look here. So it's your fault. But see, it's her fault, but, and it isn't mine at all. What? what? Well, if you have gone back up again, you were greedy to defeat that head. Oh, I got it from my mother. So it's her fault, then. Yes, and what about the harp in the third place? The harp, yes. She went and dared me to. I dared you to? You dared me to. She said that I was scared to. She dared me. No, I didn't. So it's your fault. Wait a minute. You hadn't dared him to. If you had left the harp alone, you would have in trouble in the first place. If you hadn't raised him in the first place. If you hadn't raised him in the first place. If you hadn't raised him in the first place. If you hadn't raised him in the first place. You're responsible. You're the one to blame. It's your fault.
anyway, it doesn't matter now. It's the last midnight. It's the fool's flat. Nothing but a vast midnight. Everybody smash flat. Nothing we can do. Not exactly true. We can always give her the boy. No, 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 of course it really matters. Who's the blame? So we can blame. Fine, if that's a thing you enjoy, placing the blame. If that's the aim, give me the blame. Just give me the boy! No! No. You're so nice. You're not good, you're not bad, you're just nice. I'm not good, I'm not nice, I'm just right. I'm the witch. You're the world! I'm the hitch, I'm what no one believes. I'm the witch. You're all liars and thieves like his father. Like his son will be too. Oh, why bother? You'll just do what you do. It's the last midnight. So goodbye, all. Coming at you fast midnight. Soon you'll see the sky fall. Here, you want a bean? Have another bean. Beans are made for making you rich. Blend them and they soar. Here, you want some more? Listen to the roar. Giants by the score. Well, you can blame another witch. It's the last midnight. It's the last verse. Now before it's past midnight, I'm leaving you my last curse. I'm leaving you alone. You can tend the garden, it's yours. Separate as alone. Everybody down on all fours. Oh, my mother went. You lost the beans again. Punish me the way you did that! Give me claws and a hunch just away from this bunch! And the blue, and the dew, and the moon! straight from the path. Maybe I shouldn't have attended the ball. Yes, maybe you shouldn't have. Where are you going? Away from here. But you said we had to find a way out of this together. It doesn't matter whether we're together or apart. We need your help. You don't understand. My wife was the only one who truly helped. I relied on her for everything. You would leave your child? My child will be happier in the arms of a princess. <gasps> All right. All right. Come on. Jack! I thought you were dead. Not completely. Are we ever? As far as I'm concerned, you are. Is that true? It's because of you all of this happened. I strayed into the garden to give your mother a gift. And I foolishly took some of those beans for myself. How was I to know? How were we ever to know? And when she died, when she died, I ran for my guilt. And now aren't you making the same mistake? No. Aren't you running away? No more questions. Please, no more tests. Comes the day you say what for. Please, no more. We disappoint, we disappear, we die but we don't. What? They disappoint in turn I fear, forgive though they won't. No more riddles. No more jests. No more curses you can't undo. 
Left by fathers you never knew. No more quests. No more feelings. Time to shut the door. Just no more. Running away, let's do it. Free from the ties that bind. No more despair or burdens to bear out there in the yonder. Running away, go to it. Where did you have in mind? Have to take care, unless there's a where. You'll always be wandering blind. Just more questions. Different kind. Where are we to go? Where are we ever to go? Running away, let's do it. Why sit around, resigned? Trouble is son, the farther you run, the more you feel undefined. For what you have left undone, and for what you've left behind. We disappoint, we leave a mess, we die, but we don't. We disappoint, in turn, I guess, forget though we won't. Like father, like son. No more giants. Waging war. Can't we just pursue our lives with our children and our wives till that happier day arrives? How do you ignore all the witches, all the curses? All the wolves, all the lies, the false hopes, the goodbyes, the reverses. All the wondering what even worse is still in store. All the children. All the giants. No more. I knew you wouldn't give up. He wouldn't leave his baby. It looked like he was going to. Give me my son. He always cries when I... Now what are we to do? Well, we have to think. What? Well, we have to think of a plan before the giant returns. There was just some way we could surprise her. She's too tall to surprise. Oh, good friends, we need your help now more than ever. What of the prince? I don't care. What's important now is that we find a way to fell the giant. How can you help? You could do that. How can I ever thank you? You can talk to birds. <laughs> the birds will help. How? When the giant returns, they'll attack her and peck out her eyes till she's blind. Well, what good will that do? Well, then you can strike her, surprise her. Do whatever you do to kill a giant. Well, once she's blind, she'll stagger about. She'll get angry. And she'll crush us all. Smear the ground with pitch. We'll 
lure her to an area smeared with pitch. Her shoes will stick and she won't be able to move. And then I can strike her from behind. Strike her with what? And lure her where? Yes, where? A tower. What tower? Over there, between those two trees. An old tower. Yes, send her to the tower, and then... All right, all right, we have to think of something. It'll be dark soon. Here. Oh, thank you. Come on. I'm excited. <laughs> No, don't cry, little one. I know you want your mother. Hello. <clears throat> the giant went in that direction. My darling, I did not recognize you. What are you doing in those old clothes and with a child? We must go back to the castle at once. There's a giant on the loose. The giant has already been to the castle. No. Are you all right? My love, why are you being so cold? Maybe it's because I'm not your only love, am I? I, I love you, I do. But yes, it's true. If you love me, why would you have strayed? I thought if you were mine, that I would wish for nothing more. And part of me is content and as happy as I have ever been. But there remains a part of me that continually needs more. I have on occasion wanted more, but that does not mean that I went in search of it. If this is how you behave as a prince, what kind of a king will you be? I was raised to be charming, not sincere. <laughs> I wasn't asked to be born a king, and I'm not perfect. I'm only human. I think you should leave. Go. Oh. But I love you, I... Consider that I've been lost. A victim of the giant. Is that what you truly wish? My father's house was a nightmare. Your house was a dream. Now I want something in between. Please. Please. Go. Go. I will always love the maiden who ran away. And I, the faraway prince. They're almost finished. See over there? When the giant comes, we're to send her to that tower. Good. I wanted to climb the tower too. I'm glad you're here to help me. What's wrong? My granny's gone. No, I'm so sorry. I think mother would be very upset with me. Why? She always said to make her proud, and here I am about to kill somebody. Not somebody, a giant who's been doing harm. A giant's a person too. Are we to show forgiveness? Mother would be very upset with these circumstances. Mother cannot guide you. Jack, your mother is dead. 
dead. Was she killed by the giant? She's, she was arguing with the giant, trying to protect you. She was struck a deadly blow by the <coughs> prince's steward. Why would she do that? Well, she was afraid that she was provoking the giant. Can no one bring her back? No one. Steward will pay for this. After we have slain the giant, I will slay her. You will do no such thing. But she shouldn't have killed my mother, right? I suppose not. Then she must die. <laughs> well, no. Why not? Because that would be wrong. What she did was wrong. She should be punished. She will somehow. How? I don't know. Stop asking me questions I don't have answers to. I'm going to kill her. Fine, Jack, kill her. <laughs> No, don't kill her. Mother isn't here now. Right things, right things. Who was what you say? Who can say what's true? Nothing's quite so clear now. Two things, fight things. You, you've lost your way. You decide, but you, you are, are not Straight rope. The harder the weight, 
the better to have. Take care of yourself now, Jack. It's time. No, it's not. I'll take care of him. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll be your mother now. <laughs> I don't want another mother. I want a friend. And a pet. <laughs> of course. We have nowhere to go, so I'll move in with you. <laughs> oh, no, no. It'll be fun. No, my house is a shambles, and there's hardly room for, um... <laughs> yes. Yes, of course you can come move in with us. <laughs> <laughs> and you shall join us, too. Oh, uh, You'll not return to the palace? I'll gladly help with your house. There are times when I actually enjoy cleaning. How proud your wife would have been of you. And how sad it is that my son will never know her. <coughs> Maybe I just wasn't meant to have children. Don't say that. Of course you were meant to have children. How can I go about being a father? <coughs> no one's a mother, my child. Calm the child. Yes, calm the child. Look, tell him the story of how it all happened. Be father and mother. You'll know what to do. Hello. Sometimes we believe. Those 
keep the stuff that you may lose. The path that you may go to school. Those deep blue trenches may lose. I don't have to. You have to. Those deep blue trenches you may lose. You have to. Pay. You have to pay. They're always wolves. They're always spells. They're always beads. They're giant toes. So into the woods you go again. You have to every now and then. Into the woods no telling when. Be ready for the journey. Into the woods but not too fast. So what you wish you lose at last. Into the woods but mind the path.
devotion to see, to sell, to get, to bring, to make, to live, to go to the festival.